Anyone who has spent any time at all with actual human toddlers knows that just because something is cute doesn't mean it can't also be evil. So for all of the Star Wars fans out there who harbored crushes for BB-8, prepare to fall for the new bad boy, BB-9E. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bresnikan, and in The Force Awakens, BB-8 appeared to be one of a kind. At least, we only saw one droid like him, but The Last Jedi reveals that even the bad guys have their own brand of roly-poly robot. BB-9E, and the E is for extra evil, was designed by Neil Scanlon's Creature Shop to mimic the make of that previous joy, the BB unit, but it's an entirely different model. The character, which uh, director Ryan Johnson says was nicknamed BB Hate on set, is not paired with any particular human character. The filmmaker says that uh, giving Kylo Ren a sidekick wouldn't really work given the lone wolf nature of that villain. Unless we're taking sidekick literally, Kylo has that volatile temper after all. And a droid who looks a lot like a soccer ball is very likely to meet his boot on the regular. BB-90 is more of a free agent. Like others of his kind, he roams Supreme Leader Snoke's mega star destroyer, the Supremacy, doing tech maintenance and serving as sort of watchdogs. Now, Neil Scanlon says moviegoers will get a confrontation between BB-8 and BB-90, kind of a parallel story of Vader and Luke, the dark versus the light. And there are some other sinister influences from sci-fi history in the design of this character. BB-9E's eye was an homage to the malfunctioning supercomputer HAL 9000 from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. And while BB-8 was warm and slightly mischievous, BB-9E's design was meant to be more cold and calculating, and he is much more direct in his confrontation. Everybody knows the nervousness that settles in when you're pulled over by a cop, and the black and white design of BB-9E, along with the grid-like rigid patterns we see here, instead of the uh, kind of abstract artistic patterns on BB-8, was meant to evoke the grill work of American automobiles from the 1960s. So this is supposed to look a little bit like an old-time police cruiser bearing down on you. It even has the blue and red lights on top. They also gave BB-90 a flat top, sort of the, the authoritarian crew cut, creating a face and head that's uh, more shaped like a hornet and a bit more threatening, but still kind of cute. You're welcome. <laughs>